بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما النك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافت علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is about normal appendix anatomy The vermi form appendix is attached dorsal medially to the end of the cecum, where all the three tinea coverage. It it is about two to fifteen centimeter long, long, and lies often intraperitoneally, erythrocecally in 65% or in the reverse about in 30%. The appendix attached to the posterior abdominal wall by mesoappendix. Where the tinea hostra semilunar folds of the appendix and Every block are absent. The appendix has no no known function in human and is considered a vestigial remnant of some previous organs. Or structures having a, di having a digestive function that became unnecessary to people in their evolution progress. Normal appendix maximum out diameter is six millimeter and it is surrounded by homogeneous non inflamed fat and often contain gas. The appendix, as we see here, it is variable in location due to during the embryo genesis. Why? Because we have mobile cecum covered by peritoneum completely, free cecum with its own meso cecum, and fixed cecum secondary to retroperitoneum. As in the colon, the tinea hostra semilunar folds are found in the cecum, but not in the appendix epibluchi. Here we have a retrocecal appendix, as we see in this example. As we said, it is located in about 65% in patient, and in the pelvic it is located in about 30%, and here the appendix is in the subhepatic region, in the subhepatic location. And when the appendix it is not in the usual position, give a typical or less or boldly localized pain. 
Hey, uh, this is uh, Norman Bendix and the uh, Barium Enema, as we see here. The, this is the Sika, and this is the Appendix. It is filled with barium, and this we used before to exclude appendicitis before the era of the CT scan. Here, this is the appendix in normal on ultrasound. And it is uh, less frequently visualized and about uh, from 0 to 82 percent. And it is operator dependent. And as we said before, normal appendix uh, between 6 to 7 millimeter uh, in diameter. Here, this is the CT scan, and we see the normal appendix. And it is uh, a close relation to the psoas muscle. Here, this is another patient with normal appendix. Another patient with normal appendix here, it is filled with gas, partially filled with gas, and we see the clear fat around the appendix. How to localize appendix on the CT scan? First, this is accomplished by identifying the ascending colon and following the ascending colon caudally to the cecum. And this is the cecum, and we have, should look medially for the junction of the terminal ilium and the cecum. And uh, locate the ileocecal valve, as we see it here, and the appendix is usually found caudal to the terminal ilium. And as we see here, this is the appendix filled with gas, and this is the terminal ilium. And look for the blind ending tubular structure projecting from the cecal base. Cecal Base. If you are not able to identify the appendix in this way, maybe you need to fill the appendix or the position of the patient on the left side. As we said, the normal appendix is maximum diameter, six millimeter, and homogeneously non-inflamed and often contain intramural gas. Here, this is another patient with a normal appendix. Here, this is the MRI with the pregnant woman. This is the fetus of the patient with, and here, this is the cecum, and here, this is the appendix seen normally not inflamed. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykh.